welcome back to those who watching my channel know that Moscow Mule is one of my favorite drinks and I already featured it in the top 10 variation series, made a separate Jaeger Mule and even a very special one. But you keep asking for more, so this will be my last and the best video about this wildly popular cocktail. Let's go! The Moscow Mule wasn't created in the same place where I came from. It was created in 1941 by Jack Morgan of the Cock and Bull restaurant in Los Angeles and John Martin of Hublin, the company that distributed Smirnoff Vodka. Let's start with our home version. All you need is only three ingredients. Vodka, fresh lime, and ginger beer. Traditionally, Moscow Mule has been served in a copper mug. It became iconic glassware and now always associated with this drink. If you still don't have a copper mug in your home bar, you can use any tall glass or even a mason jar. I will use a beautiful copper mug from BY's collection set. Thank you so much guys for sending it to me. If you want to get one for yourself or give it to someone as a cool gift, check links in the description. You don't need any special tools to make this drink, but we'll just build it in the mug. Fill it up with ice and stir for a few seconds to pre-chill it. Our vodka choice will be Smirnov, since it was an original vodka which was used for this drink. Let's measure 1.5 ounces of vodka and pour it in the mug. You can use up to 2 ounces if you prefer your Moscow Mule to be stronger. It's time to use my favorite cutting board and before you cut a fresh lime, roll it a few times to make it juice easier. And we will need to add 3 quarters of an ounce of juice. Next is ginger beer, which often confuses used with ginger ale. Ginger beer is slightly fizzy fermented drink with a spicy ginger flavor. It was created in England in the mid 1700s and it was an alcoholic beverage made from sugar, ginger and water. Alcoholic ginger beer has been exported to the US from England and non-alcoholic version was created because of 1920s prohibition laws. Well, it was not as popular in America as ginger ale, that's why at Cock and Bull restaurant they had an overstock and had to come up with a drink to sell it. Okay, pour about 4 ounces in the mug. Sometimes I prefer my Moscow Mule a little bit stronger and add only 3 ounces. But I think for a perfect balance, 4 ounces will be better. Add more ice and stir it a few times with a spoon to mix all the ingredients. Our cocktail is almost ready. The last touch will be a simple garnish. Cut a lime wheel or wedge and place it on top of the mug. So Moscow Mule has a great balance between spicy, sweet and strong. That's what I like in this drink and I can sip it all day long. Okay, now let's make a pro version. For this one I will use cold highball glass. If you subscribe to this channel, I'm sure you got rid of food in your freezer and replace it with cocktail glasses a while ago. Okay, let's start with the key ingredient for this drink, which is ginger syrup. There are many different ways how to make ginger syrup. I will show you one of them and in my opinion is the easiest way how to make it. You will need a fresh ginger, sugar and water. Start with ginger root and peel off its skin. It will take some time, but it's an important step. I'm going to work on it for a little bit, so this will be a perfect opportunity to hit the like button. Cut ginger into small pieces. It doesn't matter what shape it will be, just make sure you have small chunks. In the saucepan, add one cup of ginger, one cup of water, one cup of sugar and put it on the stove. Cook it on medium to low heat until sugar dissolved. Next, remove it from the heat and let it sit for about 30 minutes. Once it's ready, strain syrup into a clean bottle. This syrup will last in the fridge for about a month. Now we're ready to mix our drink. For this version we will use a shaker. Add 3 quarters of an ounce of your homemade ginger syrup. The next ingredient is vodka and let's go with Smirnoff vodka again. But this time I will add 2 ounces. We will need only half an ounce of lime juice, almost ready to shake. Don't forget to use plenty of ice and shake it really well. Ice is important as everything else, so try to use a good one and fill up a full glass. I will use a clear ice spear and slowly strain this almost finished cocktail over the ice. This time, instead of ginger beer, we will top it up with soda water. And for garnish, we will use crystallized ginger. Before we move forward to the expert version, I wanted to come clean and say that this is my favorite version, since it's not so sweet and fresh ginger roots from syrup make it perfectly spicy. We will need four ingredients to make this version. Fresh limes, good quality ginger beer, unflavored gelatin, and of course vodka. First, let's prepare our serving glass. Well, this time, it's not going to be a glass. I will serve it 
in the lime shell. Let's cut limes in half, then use a knife cut inside around the skin. Then use a spoon or melon bowl or scoop and take out everything from the inside. This process takes a minute or 10, depends on the lime type. Just make sure you remove all the juice vesicles and lime shelves are looking nice and clean. Squeeze the rest of the lime juice and fine strain it before you add it to the drink. In a bowl add lime juice and ginger beer. Sprinkle two packs of unflavored gelatin over the liquid and leave it for about 5 minutes. Now it's time to pour it into a saucepan and put it on the stove. Warm it up on a low heat and stir it until gelatin is completely dissolved. Then bring it to a low simmer and add vodka. Turn off heat and stir for a few seconds. Let it cool for a few minutes. It's time to bring lime shells, slowly pour the cocktail inside and put it in the fridge for a couple of hours. Ok, two fastest hours in your life just passed and we have our fancy Jello Moscow mules. Split them in half, they will look even prettier and more convenient to consume. Now you can enjoy delicious Jello Moscow mule yourself or easily bring them to the party without worrying that the drink will be over diluted. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and check out similar episode Mojito Home Pro Expert, it has more than 2 million views already. Massive thanks to everyone who continues supporting this channel on Patreon, I love you guys. Never be afraid to make something new and I'll see you in the next video.